welcome to the electronic circuit analysis course in this session we will study transistor high at high frequency and hybrid pi model this is dr madhusudan phd department of ec transistor at high frequency when the transistor uh, is uh, given with the very high input frequency it will not behave as a as it behaves in small frequency so there is a variation will be there that variation we have to analyze by different method it is called a hybrid pi model this is a hybrid pi model the picture shows hybrid pi model this is the base of the transistor and this is a emitter of the transistor and this is collector of the transistor this transistor is shown in this model and in between there is a in between emitter and the base and collector there is a material that is called a bulk so this analysis we will study and this this model is used when this model we call it as a hybrid pi model because it looks like a pi pi shape and hybrid because it is a we we are using to analyze the transistor by h parameter and below the diagram shows hybrid pi model simple hybrid pi model the difference between these two is here you see the in simple hybrid model you see hie is their input resistance it will be there also in in base and uh, the voltage source will be there actually that voltage source of uh, the voltage drop across the this bulk and uh, emitter and the current source as it is it is there and the resistance as it is there resistance means it's a admittance hoe it will be there as it is at the output side but there are some one resistor and uh, two capacitance extra are there those things will come into picture when the very high frequency is running this capacitance reactance will come into picture for high frequency analysis the resistance which we are using uh, in between <coughs> base and bulk we call it as a rb b dash the resistance between bulk and emitter we recognize that as a rb dash e the, the capacitance the capacitance between bulk and emitter we call it as a ce the capacitance between bulk to collector we say it as a cc and the resistance between bulk and collector we recognize it as a rb dash c and all other terms are remains the same compared to simple hybrid model and uh, hybrid pi model hybrid pi model especially in high frequency these capacitance will come into picture that capacitance will make transistor to not to work in the higher frequency that we will study that usually the capacitance value will be nanofarad 10 to the power minus 9 or picofarad 10 to the power minus 12 or femtofarad 10 to the power minus 15 farad these values will lead to this capacitor act as a short circuit for example very high frequency what happens if the this um, the capacitance between bulk and uh, um, bulk and collector capacitance if it gets short circuit then from here to here it becomes a short circuit base to collector it becomes a short circuit and sometimes collector to base also it becomes a short circuit that's why these will lead into frequency gain it will lead into decrease in the gain at the particular frequency depending on these capacitance value that we have to study the short circuit uh, whatever whatever we made previously whatever we studied hybrid pi model if you go for the analysis of the current gain then we have to make a short circuit at the output then the equivalent circuit diagram is this so same transistor right side in the figure it is shown a transistor and left side it is hybrid equivalent circuit so here equations we have to study gm is given by ic by vt ic is a collector current divided by vt is the input thermal equivalent voltage it is usually about 26 millivolt and rb rb dash e is given by hfe by gm hfe is a current gain <coughs> rb dash e equal to rb dash e divided by hre 
and uh, this analysis uh, once you note down 1 by uh, rce is approximately equal to hoe minus sometimes some terms will become zero or very negligible then we don't want to consider those things usually collector c cc is 3 picofarad which between bulk and uh, collector becomes a 3 picofarad and uh, the emitter uh, capacitance is given by gm by 2 pi ft where ft is a uh, one particular frequency where the gain becomes da in decreases that we will see in the next slide so current gain is given by al il by ii load current divided by input current then for the cutoff frequency what we make we make that capacitance whatever the earlier cc was there that will act as a input side parallel with the emitter capacitance ce so we are considering that as a single capacitance ce plus cc and uh, these two resistance as it is and uh, one resistor was there from here to here it was uh, having a more value usually so we neglect it and all others component as same as this is called a simplified hybrid pi model so we have to make a simplification for a derivation purpose Okay, current gain I, I, AI is given by collector current divided by input current which is equal to minus GM divided by 1 by RB dash plus J omega CC. This IC is given by GM into II and input current in terms of I is given by this equation. This is you have to apply Kirchhoff current law then we will get that one. Then now you reduce it so II will get cancelled in the same manner. Actually here II should come, II should come and this II, this II and this II will get cancelled. Then IC by II equal to minus GM RB dash this you take above numerator 1 plus J omega CC plus CE into RB dash E. You please reduce it and uh, J omega J frequency you keep it separate. So it will come, finally it will come as this. A i equal to minus H F E divided by 1 plus J F by F beta where F is the input frequency variation F B is the the <coughs> where F is the frequency of variation and F B is the cutoff frequency equation 1 will give us A i in terms of H F E and frequencies where F B is given by 1 by 2 pi R B dash E into bracket C C plus C. This one is the cutoff frequency given by the R 1 by 2 pi R C. Okay. And at F equal to F B, A I becomes minus H F B divided by 1 plus J only because that F F cancels. And if you take a modulus of this uh, denominator value, it becomes a root 2 then ai magnitude of ai becomes hfe by root 2 that is maximum current gain divided by root 2 that is a uh, that is used for the bandwidth purpose so cutoff frequency is given by fp to 0 to fb okay thus the f equal to fp the short circuit current gain is 1 by root 2 times of the maximum short circuit current so in the electronics usually electrical engineering we are using minus 3 db gain point everywhere so it is from maximum value whatever maximum value is there below that it will come minus 3 db gain it will come so fb is the cutoff frequency so it is given by the previous equation next derivation of the ft another frequency is there another uh, frequency cutoff frequency is there that is called ft if if we are giving a uh, maximum frequency other than this fb this region what happens uh, more than the fb what happens that becomes a uh, one time what happens the frequency will reach up to this point zero gain point that's that frequency we call it as a ft that is a gain where g it reaches to zero db so ai equation you take okay in that uh, denominator you take denominator uh, will give you the complex number 1 plus j f by f p then magnitude take the magnitude of that z equal to x plus i y this example i given to find the modulus of that value this modulus value you apply for this complex number then from here to here it comes as a under root of 1 plus f by f p square under root of that one 
then what happens this is a example right side is given by the example and below is the modulus of ai this complex number magnitude we have to find then if you continue that one if you continue from this equation and where the current gain becomes 1 so log of 1 becomes 0 so 0 dB so you have to consider this as a 1 and uh, the right side equation you reduce it so HFE 1 plus FT divided by FB square raised to 1 by 2 3 by 2 is equal to HFB and uh, you solve for the FT and FB and HFB so the cutoff frequency will come as uh, this FT equal to FB into HFE means what FB first it will reach FB then later it will it is multiplied by HFE current gain then it will go to FT so so in the graph if the gain will decrease like this this is FB and this becomes a FT so this becomes FT here FT here but the F, FB will come here only okay so FT is given by HFB divided by 2 pi RB dash C, CC plus CE so transition this one where the gain becomes 1 if you continue the derivation with the given data CC plus CE equal to we want to consider we want to calculate the input capacitance how much it should be to reach the FT then it is given by CE equal to GM by 2 pi FT if you consider that one then the capacitance value usually it is a manufacturing capacitance because transistor inside material NPN and other things it will that capacitance will come that parameter is given by the transistor manufactured manufacturer then using that we can calculate the value of FT we can value the calculate the FT value so depending on that we can use that transistor within if it is a less than FT we can use that one then the current gain is given by the is given by minus 10 log minus 10 log base 10 1 plus f, 1 1 plus f divided by fp square so if it is a um, current gain it will be 10 if it is a voltage gain it will become 20 f at f equal to ft the gain is given by minus 20 log base 10 f by fp so this is a common usually in common emitter amplifier so what is the difference between f beta and ft ft is f beta is here f beta is this one and whereas ft is given by here the gain becomes where the gain becomes 1 or 20 log if you consider log the gain becomes 0 db okay fb is where the turning starts gain decreasing okay this diagram shows 20 log this is gain gain curve and it is slowly it will decrease at one frequency that is f beta and slowly it will reach to 0 db where that frequency we call it as a ft okay the other next topic will go that is called a gain bandwidth product so gain bandwidth product is it is a rectangle area of a frequency response of transistor in this diagram you see this is the rectangle uh, area is given that area we want more actually for a particular transistor this area should be very big so how much uh, it will be bigger that much the transistor is good but every component has some limitation so gain bandwidth product also will come as a number uh, gain bandwidth product of an amplifier is 1 megahertz example it means that the gain of the device falls to unity at 1 megahertz means the rectangle limits is x axis limits is 1 megahertz hence we when the device is connected to unity gain it will work up to 1 megahertz that is gain bandwidth okay if the if a bandwidth is 1 megahertz then gain equal to 1 without excessively distorting the distorting the signal so it works up to 1 megahertz so this criteria will give us the area of this rectangle up to which frequency it will work properly that is called gain bandwidth product this is also usually transistor manufacturer will give gb gain bandwidth product gbwp or gbp they will in manufacturing data sheet they will mention how up to how much frequency it will work so as usual please subscribe my channel if any doubts please comment thank you very much the next session will come in the next video